Hey everyone, uh, this is Finding Value. I'm gonna go over another clip of ratio investing, giving an example and identifying all of the points where you should be buying and selling. I think it's extremely important to understand exactly how ratio investing works if you're a precious metals investor. And that's why we're going over this example. So you're gonna lose me here, and we're gonna go through the example. So ratio investing, this is what I'm doing for this example. Uh, we're swapping metals. We begin with $10,000. I start in the year 2000. We can use all five metals. That's gold, silver, platinum, palladium, and rhodium. I'm going to show the buy points and the swap points and the ounces as we walk through this example. So we're in the year 2000, and what I've identified are red circles. Of, of where that exactly is in the ratio world. So this is a gold to silver ratio. Uh, we're at, you know, 2,000, about 65 ounces, uh, gold to silver ratio, so one ounce to 65. Here's platinum to silver, rhodium to platinum, and platinum to palladium. So what we see here is that the platinum to palladium ratio uh, palladium's expensive to platinum, so platinum's cheap. But silver's cheap to platinum. So we know silver is cheap to platinum and palladium. We know that uh, rhodium is expensive in relationship to platinum. So silver's our buy because it's the least expensive metal of all of the metals. So in 2000, uh, we know that silver's cheap. We deploy the $10,000 into silver. The average price in 2000 was $5 uh, an ounce. So we have 2,000 ounces of silver. We, we continue to look at ratio charts and monitor when we see low points and high points. And when we have low points, we want to swap our metals into something that is cheaper. So what we're looking at here is the rhodium to silver ratio. What we see is that rhodium is cheap in relationship to silver at this point right here. In 2000, it was expensive. So 2003, it's cheap. Rhodium to palladium's cheap. Rhodium to gold is cheap. And rhodium to platinum is cheap in 2003. So when you're cheap to all of the uh, other metals, we know that rhodium is by far the best deal and that we should swap our silver to rhodium. So what we do in 2003 is we swap our silver to rhodium. The ratio is a 97 ounces of silver to one ounce of rhodium. So 2,000 ounces divided by 97, and we have 21 ounces of rhodium. So now in 2003, we own uh, rhodium. So we look again for cheap portions. In 2003, it was cheap. In 2007, rhodium is expensive to silver, rhodium's expensive to palladium, rhodium's expensive to platinum, and rhodium's expensive to gold. So rhodium's expensive to all, all of the metals in 2007, it looks like. So now we need to identify what is the cheapest metal in relationship to all the other metals. We know that rhodium is expensive to everything, but we don't know what the relative value is of the three metals to the other metals. So that's what we're looking at here. And what we see here is the gold to palladium ratio. It's kind of neutral. The palladium to silver ratio. So that means that palladium is cheap. The rhodium to palladium ratio uh, means that palladium is cheap. And the platinum to palladium ratio means that palladium is cheap. So we have palladium being cheap to all of these metals. Uh, so we want to swap our rhodium to palladium. So rhodium, 21 ounces to palladium. The ratio is 1 to 17. So really that's 21 ounces times 17 is 357 ounces of palladium in 2007. So we do our swap. Notice that I'm not saying anything about dollar price. We are swapping from our ounces to other ounces. So we look and in 2016, we notice that something has changed. Uh, we've got a palladium to silver ratio, a rhodium to palladium ratio, which is extremely cheap. We have a platinum to palladium ratio. Uh, we know that palladium is getting expensive to platinum and we have a gold to palladium ratio and it's getting, it, it's kind of fairly valued. So rhodium to palladium is extremely cheap in 2016. 
And if you look, I'm going to go back to the other rhodium. In 2016, rhodium was cheap to palladium, rhodium's cheap to gold, rhodium is cheap to platinum, and rhodium's cheap to silver. So we want to definitely do our swap to rhodium. So we do our swap to rhodium, and it's a relationship of one to one. So if you look at the palladium, this is a relationship of one to one at 2016. So we swap all of our palladium to rhodium. We have 357 ounces of rhodium, to be exact. And today's price and conclusion. So we did a 20 years of trading precious metals. You saw the transactions that occurred and the, how, we, how we or I used those ratios. Not a single transaction of platinum or gold over this period, just a, a, an observation. Uh, mainly palladium and rhodium transactions. We have 357 ounces of rhodium. In a dollar amount, that is $5 million. So over this 20 year period, and, and just doing those couple of transactions, we netted a return of 38.6% uh, annualized. That beats anyone that I know. And that was using all of the five um, metals. Now the next thing I wanna go over is today. What is cheap today? How can we apply the ratio analysis that I just went through, those examples, to, to today? So here's platinum. Platinum is down here right now in 2020. And it is cheap in relationship to palladium. It's cheap in relationship to rhodium. It's cheap in relationship to gold. And it's cheap in relationship to silver. And whenever you have this uh, set up. You want to swap some of your metals or all of your metals into platinum or you accumulate with new dollars into platinum. So again, the opportunity right now looking at ratios and hopefully I did a good enough job to describe how to use ratios and what the ratios are telling us today is that we want to acquire platinum or we want to trade some of our other metals uh, into platinum. But also keep in mind, rhodium and palladium do have massive deficits uh, coming up. So there's a possibility where platinum may outperform those metals or maybe not. Maybe platinum and rhodium will continue to go higher. The key point is if you're deploying new money and you're accumulating metals, uh, metals with dollars, you want to buy platinum because it is by far the cheapest metal in relationship to all of the other metals. This is Finding Value. Hopefully this helps you guys in your precious metals investing. Hopefully it clarifies how to use ratios uh, as best I can using this example. Subscribe, comment, and rate. Thank you for listening.